Strasbourg were still searching for their first victory of the season when they made the trip to Auxerre in Saturday's early game. The hosts had had a mixture of results across their opening three matches with a win, a draw and a defeat to their name. The victory coming in a messy game last weekend. Auxerre came from behind to beat Montpellier 2-1 despite the game finishing with both teams down to nine men. Strasbourg, on the other hand, had to settle for another 1-1 draw after conceding a late equaliser to Reims. They got off to a good start here though. Dimitri Leonard nicking the ball, playing a 1-2 with Ludovic Ajork, but then only able to fire into the side netting. Benoit Costil was called into action for the first time a few minutes later. Jean Rickner Belgard with a decent strike from the edge of the area. The keeper equal to it. Somewhat against the run of play, it would be the hosts who took the lead. Lassin Sinioko showing good strength and then finding a great pass between the Racing defence. One touch and the finish from Guy Tamperian. Nice composed finish on his left. His first goal in the top flight since scoring once as a teenager for Lyon during the 2015-16 season. Strasbourg was soon back on the attack. Still giving the ball away and making amends. Once again, dealing with a powerful shot, this time from wing back Tom Andelin. Ozea and Strasbourg hadn't faced each other in the top flight since January 2008. Agia had won just one of their previous six meetings, but equally hadn't lost any of their previous five home meetings with Racing. The former of those stats looking the more likely to change significantly. It was the home side who started the second period stronger. Cross flashed across the six yard line but narrowly missed by Hamza Saki. Perhaps the slightest of touches from the Moroccan, but not quite enough to divert it into the net. Racing would keep trying. 18 year old Habib Diara flashing a volley well over. The other end, at Sells, having to be alert to a long range effort the game toed and froed. Perhaps the biggest chance of the match would go the way of Strasbourg late on. Some nice build up play in the final third. The ball lifted into the box but Kevin Gamero unable to convert from close range. Probably the man Julian Stefan would have chosen to receive that kind of chance. Just one of those days for the visitors. We would get one final chance. That's Rian Thomason firing another effort from the edge of the box. Costil holding on to both the ball and a well-deserved clean sheet. So 1-0 the final score. The hunt for victory goes on for Strasbourg. Drop into the bottom five. Ozer though continue to love life in the top flight now up to seventh. <laughs>